Hey everybody, welcome to Adventures with Peps. It is the community choice painting episode. And today you guys chose Joe Pineapple from the ABC Warriors. I am not painting mine like the box art or the comic. I don't like Joe Pineapples in blue. That is not my Joe Pineapple. Mine is purple. I am painting mine purple. If you don't like it, jog on, find somebody else's video to watch. Otherwise, sit back, grab a cup of tea, and we'll get on to painting. I am painting mine off a piece of artwork that I'll hopefully share if I can remember to do it, by Simon Beasley. And it is Joe Pineapples. He is wearing bright red. He is purple. He's got a green gun. This is going to be my inspiration for the painting that I am doing. So as you can see, I primed it white because I thought that's going to make him nice and bright, make him stand out. And we kicked things off with the Gravelord Grey. And I'm going into any of the robotic parts that are showing. There's a couple of places on his thighs, his knee joints, um, around the back on his butt, and then his ankle joints are the main locations for that. I'm also going to hit up his glasses right now with it as well, just to give it a darker base coat but I'm not entirely sure how the purple's going to go down, so at this point, the glasses may change later on. With the grey drying, I move on to the hardened leather. There's not much on the model that I wanted to do in this colour. It's ultimately going to be his pistol pouch on his leg here that you can see me painting right now, and his belt, which you can't really see much of it. There's a strap on the front, and that's about it. And I'm also going to capture a little bit of his coat just to break it up a little bit so it's not all bright red. But this is a very quick, very simple step. Up next is going to be Absolution Green, which is going to be his gun. Now, if you haven't noticed, the way I'm painting is because I want to make sure each color has dried. So uh, currently, I'm picking areas that are away from wet paint. So I did the grey first, then I did the brown, even though I guess the fire, it's a little bit close to the grey. doesn't matter if it reactivates the paint and blends in, because they're both dark colours. But now that I got them down, I'm going to move on to the green, because that is an isolated colour. And that's going to give the grey the time to completely dry up, and give the brown paint time to set more. And I think having a green gun really makes this model pop. I'm very happy. I'm holding the finished model in my hand as I do the voiceover. I'm very happy with how it looks. I find the blue and a grey weapon. He looks dull. Joe Pineapples is not dull. He's exciting. He's unique. He has these weird human fetishes. He's got to stand out. And I really think the paint scheme they picked... I know it's based off the Vulgar War scheme and artwork, but I think they could have been more adventurous with how they did it. it. Just looks a bit too safe, a bit too realistic military for my liking. This is comic book. We gotta be exciting. So the green is now done, and we can move on to the hive dweller purple. Now I have no idea how well this is gonna work. This isn't a speed paint I use a lot, and I forget quite quickly how it's going to look. It's going on very dark. Hopefully it will uh, lighten up as it dries. We'll see. But uh, I'm going to carefully work my way around. Got to make sure I don't mess up the jacket because obviously this is a dark color and I want the jacket to be bright red. So I'm going to be very careful as I go around, take my time and we are going to skip on forward. Before I jump back in before we move on to the next step and just look at that purple it looks beautiful I'm picking out a couple areas with yellow uh, one is the arrows on his long rifle and the ABC logo on his forehead which sadly due to the casting maybe came out a bit soft so you're not really going to see the ABC logo but they're just two points of yellow and then I grab the blood red which is going to be for his biker jacket and I'm just going to slap it on. It's going to be bright, it's going to be bold, it's going to be glorious. 
Then after that, we're pretty much done. I do his glasses in magic blue, just to blue them up a little bit. But otherwise, we'll be heading into the glamour shots. We'll get them done. I really enjoyed this model. I'm happy to now have it in my collection. I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And make sure you come back on Saturday to see the next Community Choice lineup. I have no idea what I'm picking. Uh, I think the models that I didn't paint this week are going to be back in there. And then I'll probably throw in another ABC figure to get that set going again. Because I've slacked off on it. But it could also involve the new Judge Dread figures as well. Because there's a few models there that I really want to get paint on. But make sure you're back on Saturday to check it out. And until then, cheers for watching, guys. It's much appreciated. Bye-bye.